Welcome back. Well, we're going to have the fun stuff going on today. We've got Boom versus Beast Coast. Look at this. Early smoke. They have a lot of different... A lot of burst damage and a lot of stun and control. Oh, and there's the opening from Jackie. They're going to go straight for Schofield. Bounce oh. strikes. Not going to catch Schofield. He'll put the fairy fire, but he'll still go down. As they'll get that first blood here for Yopach. This is a difficult lane on the early levels. Look at Yopa. He brought a ring of regen. <laughs> DK. Oh, no, <laughs> Something you don't see. At the hilltop. It's so funny that he bought a ring of regen. Oh, look Yopach. at this. Tim's it. made some magic happen top. He's going to try and look for some action now in the mid lane. They're going in aggressive for Chris, but TP comes in from Stinger. He'll turn towards Skem. Oh, Skem's in trouble. And Schofield also around as the two supports. Oh, he Ooh. got a career. All right, he'll, he will indeed. <laughs> uh, but he's not going to be getting out of this one. And can they can they push him off the tower? TPs are going to be coming in. They will catch Tim's in the trees. So Tim's, he's definitely dead. FBZ actually immediately TPs because he knows. He goes mid. And he's going to join forces oh, with Yopaj. Oh, this is smart. It's They're, such a quick uh, move. A bit of a bait and switch here as boom, they'll go straight from top to the mid lane. So now FBZ really heads up TP and that's a mid tower. The more see, important tower. See if they can kill FBZ. Gonna have the ghost seal coming in soon, but it's a lot of damage. FBZ, he'll go down. Does get the ult on two other heroes too. Yopaj as well as Skim. I mean, he's got a haste through. He's a speedy venom answer here, Chris. Still a tanky DK. They, they're thinking about continuing to I mean, go they're, in. They're getting very, very low to that ultimate. Right, this is so. This is such a Chris Luck thing. Ooh. Oh, oh, they can't quite catch him. Like the Monkey King having an early defusal could be pretty problematic. Yeah, especially. But uh, Ooh. speaking Ooh. of the Monkey King, though, well, they will catch him with the spit, Tim's. Oh, he's gonna die for this one. Well, that'll be some uh, very well received Spirit Vessel charges here for Chris. I'll swear they will lose the DP. Uh, this will be the. The bigger kill out the two of them as K1. I'll go down. Hector is TPing Ooh, down. They I mean, could catch if this. If they catch Hector. I think they know. I think Beast Coast is going to bring more because I think they know that this move is going to happen soon. Well, there we but go. That's the too jump. Fast. Let's see what Hector can do. He's starting to lose his mana. He's able to get the ult off in time. Tim's is hasted. Here's Whisper with the backup. Arena lockdown onto Yopage. K1, he's able to beat into the Dragonite. They'll take him down. Over to the side, they'll turn towards Tim's boom. They tried to make that quick move from top to bottom, but Beast Coast, they were prepared. Stinger. Oh, he's... Unbelievably he, far he's up. He's pretty far up here. He looks pretty dead. Yeah, he fancied getting a few hits in onto the tower, but... Uh, He'll I mean, make him work Can he walk it? this off? He's, he might actually he be... He is right. actually living. He's fine. These heroes don't <laughs> scare him at all. Oh, Death man. Prophet, a Monkey King, and a DK, they won't kill him off. But over in the river, Skem. He's been found. So Stinger making the space there, drawing Boom's attention down to the bottom lane. Oh my God, and he's left these two alone. They get a kickback onto the CK. And of course, Jackie, he's not quite got that BKB. I think it's coming out in the courier. He will get his ult off. He'll turn, be into Whisper. Boundless comes out to the side. Jackie getting low, but he is able to get the kill. He'll finally die. See if Tim's can deal with the rest of them. He's jumped in to try and find some sort of trade, but he won't get it. That mid tower and bottom tower trade was huge. And now just splitting up the map, but Boom. Go patch. The stun. Looking for a quick kill onto Schofield to try to roll out, but the boundless strike stops him in his tracks. A Schofield done. Can they get anything else out of this boom there? Sweeping over towards the rest of Beast Coast, but it will be into that. Oh, oh he gets the jump in, Whisper. He managed to catch Tim's there. Knocks him down. The Decrepify will buy some safety for Get Tim. He's able to get the arena out. FBC commits to the back lines with the BKB. The ultimate goes off. It will catch Yopad. Still to the side. Jackie, BKB up as well. He'll look to Whisper. Whisper trying for the TP out. He's actually going to make him uh, make his way out of there with that. But it does mean K1's kind of been left behind. <gasps> They're healing up FBC. Oh, my God. K1's back for a second round, but he's not. Is he going to be able to deal with this? He's not. They've got the stuns. Yopad, Jackie, they lock him down. Boom. They'll take the fight. Unbelievably impressive with the way that they identify how to take team fights. Oh wait, <laughs> hang on. Comes wait, in, what? Okay, <laughs> All right. find the kill. I don't think Yo Patch was expecting that. Just uh, they're like, right boys, great team fight. At this type of point, that's why you see Whisper, he's going for plate mail. He's just going for all these armor items to protect himself versus the burst as Tim's. As we said, he's BKB. There's K1 about, so. Not easy for him to get out of this one. He'll go for the TP, but it comes at a time where the BKB ends. So Schofield himself able to stop that. That's the eggs. Schofield's got it done. Quick move stop. Maybe see if they can catch FBZ. It's Chris Luck. He's in with a haste room. BKB has to be coming, coming out here from FBZ once again to survive. 
Maybe they can fight after the end of it. Chris looks still with the movement speed of the haste and the spider legs to close in. Oh, he gets it with a big ult there. Onto a good amount of them. Here's all four. He will get turned oh. upon and taken down, but K1 could be in for a bit of a cleanup as he's in on top of FPC. Can we stun them? Yopaj holds him back with the Dragon Tail Stone. Whisper spearing back FPC. They're trying to heal him up, but they cannot keep the Death Prophet alive as FPC goes down. Schofield looking over towards Scam, but Scam's out with the Glimmer. Jackie with the BKB TP's out of the action. He'll back off. Scam gets left behind. Beast Coast, they'll take him down as well. Significant damage. I mean, increase. they want to fight, boom. boom. They're going to get the jump, but the Lincolns is there to block the stun from Yopaj, and K1's able to walk out of the ultimate. Oh, oh and now Tim's. There's Schofield. vision. And there's backup coming in. Look at the jump from Whisper. He's in on top of Scam and FPZ. FPZ does have the BKB ready to pop. I need to do it here. Buyback will come out for Scam. Now FPZ pops the BKB. He's got the Siphon sealing him up. But K1's still in on, on top of him. Chris gets in. Oh, comes off pretty much onto the entirety of Boom. So Boom will start to tick down low. K1, he's ready to get back in potentially. He still has that Aegis, of course. He's ready to push it to the limits. They're chasing out FPZ. FPZ, he's trying to run, but Whispers Whoa. in. Slams him down with another rebuke. He's three dead. Jackie with his BKB. He's having to run. He's going to go for the TP out, but they're going to be able to kill him with the physical. As that's Jackie down, Beast Coast, they take out three. They'll take this tower as well. Hector picking it up, not even dropping down the once. Spear? Oh. Tims? I mean, he's caught him. I mean, Whisper, 8, 1, and 6. We mentioned before the series how big Mars is going to be between these two teams. It's a hot one with these squads. As they're going to just go that's for the game, game here, Beast Coast. Like. There's no buybacks here. We'll have FPZ up in a couple of seconds, but still, no Jackie, no Scam. And no Tims, Ancient's exposed, Joe Padgett will jump in with the BKB, they'll come up with the format silence, but they're just going to focus the Ancient look to close it up as this game one, ladies and gentlemen, will go to Beast Coast. Really well played, honestly. Game beginning, game two now. As, of course, Beast Coast up the first game so far in this two-game series. Especially from Gaming Without Borders, we saw this so much, and I thought it was going to really leak into this as Whisper. Whisper. I mean, Jackie's on his own with that focus He's from dead. Boom around the water runes. It means that Jackie's left vulnerable. Water runes were checked every single time. Even like the, I think it was just the four minute and then the six minute rune, but most of the time we were seeing that six minute. Oh, good controller for Stinger. Nah, that's going to be a kill with the Blade Fury. Oh, yeah. K1. That was a huge I mean, stroke that clipped him though. Yeah, they bring Schofield in to, to help out. Boom, they're going to try and take the five, but Schofield's in on top of Tim's. There's a TP. Yopaj is coming. Yeah, they've got to be careful. They've got to run from Yopaj. Yopaj, you're going to try and jump for K1 straight away. Stinger's got the glimpse. He'll use the dissimilate to dodge the glimpse pullback. And that'll allow Yopaj to commit for the kill and take down K1. Great move here from the mid. Goes for the priority target, too. You saw the rest of his team went for the Earth Spirit. Yopaj knows who to go for in that instance. And that's with an Arcane Rune, too. So he'll have his steps back oh, up. He'll return. And FBZ's coming for Schofield. He's it, is that, that, is it going to tick him out. And Yopaj finds Stinger. It is. I get the burnout on him as well. If they can get this kill on K1, that'll be huge. Got the Blade Fury. It's a tough one. Yopaj still wants to go. They've got the Ink Swell buff. They can dive for this. See, TP's coming in. They're looking to get rid of the Healing Ward. They'll get it. Maybe look for the, the kill onto Stinger instead. He's a bit squishier, a little bit easier. There's the Omni Slash. Early damage, not too much. K1, he's low on the mana, but backups in from Whisper. So Yopaj, you'll burn out to the Fire Spirits. FPZ also getting chased out. So, boom. They stick around. They try and pressure K1, but they're not going to get away with it that time round. That's really cool. And a different build-up when we do see the Phoenix Blade as a core, which is not too standard. K1, very low on the mana. No spin. These two have the damage. They'll pop the ult. And with that control, they should certainly have it. Well, maybe not. No, yeah, they've got the physical. He tries to spin away. We'll see Chris coming from the side. Arena to lock down Tim's. Whisper. He has got the supernova, but he's not able to get it out in time. In fact, I think he, and now Chris? The, the ward ended up killing him off there from Scam. Let's see if they can run down this Mars as well. Another final stone coming out there from FPC as his split comes to an end. Hits into Chris. Scam gets the double. They're looking to pressure the mid tower here now too. They don't have natural push. So trying to play More around the siege. Stinger. He's trying to hide in the trees. They'll see him. There's Joe Page and Tim's collapsing onto the disruptor. Will be another one here for another the side of Boom. <laughs> another one for the Pugnord. <laughs> Boundless. Stinger. He's going to charge split. straight in, but indeed the splits out. And this is a fight the Beast Coast may have to just end up walking away from. Stinger. 
He'll be chased out by the Primal Split. He'll die or throw out a Static Storm and does catch on a scale, but he spears off the mark for Chris. Doesn't matter. Schofield still rolls in, finishes off the kill, but Chris is in trouble. Yopad jumps over with the Astral Step, picks up a second kill. Now they look over towards Schofield. He's got the roll, but FBC is able to get in position to block off the initial attempt from an escape from Schofield. Schofield surrounded, finds just a little bit of an angle to run away from this one. Jackie's going to try and chase him out. <laughs> but the roll once more, Schofield actually able to escape. Feels like it's going to get real hard real fast, too. Yopai's also halfway toward Aghanims, too. Really good Ags game versus all these cores. Let's see what they can do against these two. They have got the leash out. Omni Slash will come out onto Tim's. Get the silence off onto Yopaj. See if the three of them can continue to run him down. They have the arena, but Yopaj is out to the side. Dodges the spear. And now FBC is ready to run down Beast Coast. Beast Coast, can they really keep this fight going? K1, he has Blade Fury at the ready. He'll use it and TP out of there. He wants to escape. He knows there's no further fight to be had. If a Beast Coast Stinger, he's going to be focused. We'll get the Static Storm and the Kinetic Field off in time. Trapping Yopaj. Heal. He's healing Yopaj up. He's going to keep Yopaj safe and alive. As they'll save their Void Spirit. Kill Schofield on the Earth Spirit. Chris has to run. The Boundless Strikes there is the jump again from Yopaj. In with, with that Astral Step. I mean, it boom. They've really turned things up here in this yep. game too. Look at the tower. Either they might catch him. Like, look at Yopaj. Yep. Yeah, that is the jump and the silence leaves no chance for K1 to react. On the other side. I've got Jackie. All right, they'll get a trade kill. They might get Scam as well, but Yopach is headed over the map. They have the Supernova. I'll see if they can focus it and take it out. Ooh, they don't. Just they can't get it out in time. The arena's back up. Maybe Beast Coast can get more out of this. Tim's burning down to the Sunray. There's three dead on Boom. Yopaj, he's not able to stick around and finish off Whisper. He's got to run. FBZ, he's starting to connect over. He has another split. Let's see what he can get done here. Spit from Chris will miss. There's the split. FBZ focusing down Chris. Yopaj, he's got another remnant to offer up. They'll be able to kill this Mars. Chris dies. Not not bad from Beast Coast, though. The Jingu Mastery damage talent and the Tree Dance Castering. So now, you know, I did say earlier on the no lack, no real vision aspect. That's going to at least give him one better one as okay, well. one. To run here, we, we saw the split come out to avoid being pulled back by the glimpse. And they've got control onto K1. Let's see what they've got here on the back lines. Chris, he's in with the BKB. Actually, gets to jump onto Scam. Scam's gone. Tim's Both as well will die. Both supports out of the fight. And the glimpse onto Yopad. She'll jump out with it to simulate straight over with another round of this primal split. They bring out the two supports in return. Buybacks come out from Scam. Boom, they want to keep this fight going and catch K1. Great boundless across both cores as Jackie finds both K1 and Chris. Whisper has to pot the BKB here as he retreats. They're going to try and chase nice the spear. spear. We'll hold back Jackie for now. They'll pop the supernova. Boom. They're straight over towards the egg. They'll look to take it down. They'll manage to do so this time. The supernova comes to an end. Chris will get dove underneath the tier threes as boom. They're going to be able to take down everybody on Beast Coast. They scanned out. They know exactly what's happening and they'll smoke. Yopash. Closing on this as quickly as they can. DD on Yopash. He's just short of the BKB, but FBZ is just going to run in with the split. Yeah, they're just playing around with K1 out to the side. Schofield's sort of taking their Whoa. attention away from the rest of the team, but that will mean that Schofield dies for that. He was very deep, split away from his team. That's the first split. FBZ. Nice, you know, he says second one's still on cooldown. Mm -hmm. BKB's out. It's a good arena. Get the spear over. And see Yopaj. He was able to still Wait. get out of this, though. I think maybe a bit, a bit of sort of, a, I think the glimpse came out at the same time. They're kind of so. break show patch out of the arena. The boundless is out of the move. have a supernova coming in on the high ground. It's a good position with the egg. Boom's got to be careful fighting into this high ground. Jackie has to back off. BKB soon to come to an end. The Sunray is burning him down. Roll four from Schofield. He's not going to get the connection, but he's keeping that magnetize going. As Jackie tries to stand his ground, Skem's going to get chased down by K1 with the Blade Fury. Back over towards the river. Whisper keeping himself alive with the BKB. Yo, patch. And and Tim's they've gotta be they've gotta be careful. That buyback from Schofield. They're actually looking to maybe get it. Yopaj I mean, thinking about it. Uh, he's getting silent. He's gonna put the BKB. He's gonna get the kill here on Schofield. And he's getting low. Can he get it picked up in time? He, he can. Bay K1. Beast Coast, they've got the Aegis, they get the Roche kill, they'll take out Tim's, they got the Glimpse back, on Jackie. to Jackie, Jackie has been surrounded, he needs help, the BKB is still on cooldown for 10 seconds, buybacks have to come into play, they've got to save their Monkey King, Jackie getting focused by Kevin Kevin. he's just going to go for the Blade Fury TP out underneath them, they'll back off on the Juggernaut, but the rest of, of Beast Coast do suffer, three dead, 
Setting themselves up now. Yo, Paj. Don't want to try and burst Whisper. Whilst the BKB is on cooldown. It just came back up. But they got him before. That was split second there. Like, two seconds left on the BKB when they jump in. Whisper's back Ooh. in. They're starting to TP out. They're looking for a K1. They'll catch him. They'll stop his TP back. Ooh. What's he got left? He's got Mantra in a second. To the Dissimilate. The burst. He'll put the Mantra. He has the Omni Slash. It's good damage on Yopaj here. Yopaj. And he'll put the, the Illusion himself. But the Blade Fury's up. K1. He's actually going to get the kill. Oh my god. <laughs> he All actually right. gets him. I mean, he, he should die for this as Jackie comes in to clean him up. But uh, bringing down Yopaj. Uh, Chris is going to jump forward. They want to keep this fight going. <laughs> Beast Coast is in with a lockdown. On to Tim's. BKB's popped by Jackie. Chris Luck's going to opt to get out of here with the spider legs. Jackie's going to attempt to chase. He looks pretty dead on Chris. I, Chris jumping in unbelievably aggressive there without any backup of his teammates. They'll be able to maybe hang on to this too. The split comes out to potentially try to finish it. It does hit pretty hard with the demolish. It does, but LPZ at the same time has to be a bit careful. But uh, yeah, that looks like he can stick around and take it. Chris Luck out to the side. I support the BKP. And nearly able to burst him. Stinger is dying. Chris looks going to jump. He gets the spear connection on Yopaj. Schofield playing around with Skemp. FBZ. Ooh, okay, he'll get out. Uh, Scotty in a Mithril Hammer. Yopaj. Oh. Schofield. Openings there into the silence. He's hanging on to his BKP. Yopaj knows he's safe. Now resetting. So let's try and jump back in. They've got the stun on K1. K1 needs help. Chris Luck's going to provide it. Jumps in with the arena on the back lines, but they're controlling that jog. K1 is down for 90. As Whisper, BKB, TP out. We'll make it out of there safely, but now they're going to have to try and survive without their carry for a, a whole lot of seconds here. Trying to heal him too. He just was not able to offset the damage. As Boom, finally able to claim this mid racks now too. Tier 2 is still up top. A hammer in his inventory that he was spending up and does not have the availability for buyback. As they jump in, they've caught Whisper, BKB's on cooldown, nothing to be done, he has the buyback. But again, they're having to do this without a K1 for a long time. They should be able to, they should be able to bring down at least this tower. I don't know about end it just yet. Push them out of their base. Yopaj. He's gonna turn his attention over towards Schofield. And he's got him. Schofield's gone. There's the buyout. And the fortification, 10 seconds coming up to K1. Boom. So we're going to continue this pressure, see if they can close it. Set up with the arena, locking down this position, Whisper. He'll dive forward, he's got the BKB, arena off to the side, he'll pop the supernova. But they're focusing down hit. the egg, they'll be able to take it. Jackie getting incredibly low, the silence of the Omnisense on to FPC. FPC's got to run, but the Blade Fury will take him out. Jackie, he's trying to beat down on the Grizzlet with a boundless strike, he gets the kill. K1, what else has he got to offer? He's already used his Manta, Blade Fury and Omni Slash, he's just got the right clicks alone with the crits. He's focusing down Skem, Skem, cut down here, they're holding on Beast Coast, the defense is happening. Jackie, unless Jackie can sort of take them all down, he's building up the Jingu, but the control... He got Bash. It's there, Bash <laughs> is coming out from K1, the Ancient remains alive. And now FBZ, it's time. Refresher, quad splits, his booze and buddies. They're ready. Oh, Schofield. Gonna head out to the warning position. K1's gonna look to back him up, but Schofield's already gone down. Scam. It's gonna be the new focus. Mantis pop. The static storm control, it's there, but the BKB's out from FPZ. Jump over with the actual step. They've got the pull control onto K1. K1 getting locked down. He's gone. G -G. Stinger also to fall. There it is. GG is called. Boom. We'll take this game too with some fantastic fighting.